After spending Sunday and Monday nights in custody, 10 suspects including Kiambu County Governor Ferdinand Waititu and his wife Susan Wangari Ndungu secured their freedom after the court granted them bail. The suspects were released on bail with the judge setting the bail terms for the governor at 15 million shillings cash bail with an alternative of a 30 million shillings bond. The other suspects including Waititu's wife Susan Wangari, County Chief Officer for Roads Lucas Wahinya, five members of the Kiambu County Tender Evaluation Committee, and two directors of Testimony Enterprises Limited were ordered to pay cash bills ranging from 1 million to 4 million shillings. To ensure the administration of justice is not compromised, it is necessary to guard against the risk of possible prejudice in the criminal justice process by imposing appropriate conditions. In my view, restricting access to the office is a reasonable condition under Article 49 h of the Constitution in the circumstances of this case. I concur with the remarks of Justice Mubingubi in ACC 25 of 2019 when she rhetorically questioned, and I quote, how effective will prosecution of such state officers be when their subordinates, who are likely to be witnesses, are under the direct control of elected officers? Governor Ferdinand Waititu will, however, have to perform his duties outside county offices after the court imposed several conditions to all the accused persons. The first accused shall not access his office until his criminal case, until this criminal case is heard and determined. Equally, accused persons who are employees of the county government will not access their offices during the pendency of this criminal case. The rest of the accused persons are also banned from setting foot in the Kiambu County offices pending this trial. All accused persons will deposit their travel documents in the courts to minimize the risk of accused traveling out of this court jurisdiction without the leave of the court. Those without passports, for those without passports, a confirmation of the facts must be given by the Department of Immigration. They must not contact witnesses or in any way interfere with exhibits or, or any evidence. The suspects are facing multiple counts including abuse of office, conflict of interest, dealing with suspect property, and irregular procurement of a tender awarded to a company for the upgrading of various roads in Kiambu County. The case will be heard on 26 August this year. Minuel Mbatul Samburu Governor Moses Lenon Kulal has moved to the appellate court to challenge the order stopping him from accessing his office pending the hearing and determination of corruption-related charges facing him. In a notice of appeal, the Samburu governor says he is dissatisfied with Justice Mumbi Ngugi's ruling that appealed the magistrate court decision which ordered the governor not to step foot in his office pending the hearing and determination of the case against him. Ben Chumba, reporting for Channel 1 News.